What's up guys, AdventureDex here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to bring you guys this new video because I believe this product is a game changer. So if you don't already know, I'm a huge fan of Cascadia 4x4. They're a company based in Canada and they're always releasing really, really cool and innovative products for the Jeep. I've been rocking their Fair Leads and the Flipster. I did a couple of videos on those. If uh, you want to go check that out, I'll link it in the description. But this new product that they just released, I think is one of the coolest products out there. So I'm going to go grab it. While I do, please consider subscribing to join Team Adventure Decks. Just click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button to help the channel grow. I'm going to go grab the package and I'll be right back. So check it out guys. This is the VSS system by Cascadia 4x4. This right here, we'll unbox it, is a solar system that mounts on the top of the hood and then allows you to capture the energy from the sun and deliver it straight to your battery. It's really, really cool and a super innovative use of space for the hood, which you wouldn't otherwise be able to use. So let's get this unboxed and check it out. So check it out guys, we just got it unboxed and I'm so stoked to get this installed. The thing is really, really cool. So first of all, just a few things right off the bat is that it's actually a flexible material, so it's, it's not hard. It's really ultra thin, I think on their website it says it's about three millimeters, so this is not gonna stop any airflow over the hood. It's obviously gonna be out the way of your line of sight and it's pretty big as well, so it gives you a great surface area, all of these panels are again going to absorb the energy from the sun and then it comes with the controller and everything is already wired up for you and this is going to be able to deliver that energy from the solar panels through the controller and then trickle into your battery and then uh, the application as well is, um, is, is easy um, so this is the vinyl that you're going to put down this will be the base between the hood and the solar panel itself they both just stick on to each other. This gives a good uh, adherence to the hood. And I'm excited to get this installed, so let's get right to it. The next step is to clean the top of the hood with some water and some alcohol in preparation for the vinyl that we're going to apply. Because my hood is really dirty, I'm actually just going to use a wet cloth first to get a lot of this big debris off of it. Then I'm going to go back and uh, use the alcohol to get any grease or wax off. So I'm going to go ahead, get all of this cleaned up, and then we'll get onto the vinyl. So preparations and patience is the key to this install. So make sure you get a really good clean on your hood and make sure you take your time and follow each step of the instruction. So now I'm gonna use alcohol. This is gonna get rid of any wax or grease that's on the hood and that's gonna give us a really good surface for the vinyl to adhere to. Alright guys, so the next step is to unroll the vinyl that's gonna go underneath the solar panel itself. You'll see that it actually has the orientation on it and it's important to make sure that you understand which way this needs to be applied. They've obviously made it easy, back of vehicle, front of vehicle, and you can see it's in the exact shape of the solar panel, and it has the cutouts for the washer, so we can use those as a little guide. Because this came rolled up, I'm gonna use the solar panel itself to try and flatten it. So I just wanna make sure you do this on a clean surface. I'm gonna get this all flattened out and then uh, we'll be able to use soapy water and apply this just like you would apply any vinyl sticker. So the next step is to grab a spray bottle with soapy water and what you want to do is apply it to the top of the hood and you can apply this generously because we're going to squeegee it all out later. So I'm going to get the entire hood covered and then we're going to grab the vinyl. We're going to do the same on the back of the vinyl and then apply it. All right, so the next step is to grab the vinyl and make sure you get it in the right orientation. 
back and front. And what you want to do is peel it off. And then what I'm going to do is have somebody spray the back of it at the same time. So just keep spraying, keep spraying. So as you can see, we got the vinyl sitting on top and the soap allows us to move it back and forth. What we did was we used these windshield washers as the guide of where it should be. This vinyl is a little bit smaller than the actual, the actual solar panel itself. So the solar panel is just gonna rest right on the outside of it. But this is gonna go down really, really easily. You just wanna make sure you use ton and ton of soap and water. And you can see on this one as well, we use that as the guide. So now what we want to do is get the squeegee and gently squeegee all of these air bubbles out and then uh, we'll let it dry and then we'll be able to apply the solar panel on top of it. So we just got it applied guys and it looks awesome. If you have any trouble, you can use a heat gun to get out any of the air bubbles. But if you really take your time and you use the soapy water and you squeegee it all out, it's really not necessary. Just be patient, use plenty of soap in the water and, uh, and it'll go on and you can see it's smooth. We're now gonna move this into the sunlight or into heat and we're just gonna leave it for 15 minutes. Going to adhere really good to the hood and then uh, we'll be able to mount the solar panel right on top of it. So the next step is to take the solar panel itself. I still have the red 3M tape on, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna test fit it. We're basically looking to put it in the right location, and again, you can line these up using the windshield nozzle sprayers. So when you got it placed on the hood, I'm using the two windshield sprayers as my guide. And if you look inside, I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see where the vinyl base coat is. And you want to have a two inch gap between the vinyl base coat and the outside of the solar panel. You want to have that all the way around. You can slide a ruler underneath and then measure from the outside when you touch the base. Um, but the nozzles give you a really good indication of whether you're centered or not. So when you have it centered, what you can do, see that you can run a pen around to mark the outside. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use painter's tape, it's easier. I'm just gonna run four sides all around and then we can apply the adhesion promoter underneath, peel the red and hopefully stick it all down and then uh, hook it up. All right, next, we're gonna grab the two packets of the 3M adhesion promoter. This is gonna go on between the tape line we put and the vinyl base. So I'm gonna put on gloves for this step because apparently this stuff is pretty strong. I don't wanna get it on my hands and get my fingers stuck together. So I'm gonna put on gloves. We're gonna remove the solar panel because we have it all positioned exactly where we want it now. So this is going to come off. And we're now going to open this up. So I'm just using the sponge and I'm just going right inside the guide that I made myself with the painter's tape and this is going to dry completely and when we peel that 3M tape on the back of the solar panel it's going to get a really good adhesion to the hood so you got two of these sponge wipes so I'm going to use the first one then I'm going to use the second one it's important that we let that promoter dry for five minutes because we want to put the 
solar panel back on and then slowly peel it off. So that needs to dry first, then we'll go ahead and put the solar panel on. So we're gonna wait five minutes and then throw the solar panel on. All right, so you wanna find the start of the 3M and you just wanna peel about an inch of the red backing off of it. You do this with your fingernail or a blade. I'm trying to do it with my fingernail. There you go. I'm just gonna peel a tiny bit so that I can grab it once we've put it on. So it's been five minutes. We're gonna put the solar panel back on. I still have the 3M tape on. I haven't peeled it off yet. So I'm gonna rest this back on gently. It does have a little bit of flex, but you just wanna be careful with it. I'm just gonna rest it down and we're gonna try to get the proper orientation again. Before we stick it down, I'm just gonna remove this tape just in case any of it gets underneath. We don't need it anymore because I've already put the adhesive down. So I'm just gonna get rid of this tape and then we'll gently remove the backing and then press it down. So you wanna gently remove this and you don't wanna press it down at this. You just wanna make sure that you don't move the solar panel because it should be centered now. And then when we press it down, that'll be the final time. We're gonna gently press this down now. We're gonna work our way around. We're now gonna spend 10 minutes just making sure that all the edges are down. It's really important that you get all the edges down because if any of the edges are up, obviously it's gonna compromise the integrity of the solar panel. And if any air gets underneath there while you're driving, it's, uh, there's a chance it's gonna come off. So you just wanna make sure that there's no gaps. It should be uniform to the hood and completely stuck down. Mine looks really great. It wasn't that difficult. But again, you just gotta take your time. So it's now time to install the controller. And this is the brains of the operation. This is basically going to take all the energy from the solar panel, put it into the controller, and then send that onto your battery. This is a pretty simple installation. This is gonna go in a safe location in the engine bay. We have the two male and female adapters that go directly into the solar panel itself. And then we have positive and negative leads that just hook up to the terminals on each battery. There is accessory lines as well, but we're gonna leave those alone for now. You can use those in the future if you need to hook up more accessories onto your solar panel. So we're gonna go ahead and route these wires through the engine bay on the back of the hood and then hook it up. So I've decided to mount my controller on top of the fuse box. They recommend that you can do it on top of your intake, but I think this will be easy. I'll still be able to open the fuse box anytime I want. So I just think this is a kind of a flat convenient surface to, uh, to mount it on. So I'm not gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna clean this thoroughly. I have alcohol on this rag. I'm just gonna get any grease off the top of this so that uh, we can stick it down with some 3M tape. So that's cleaned up good. We're gonna let that dry for a second. We're then gonna peel the 3M tape. And we're gonna press it down. I'm actually gonna do it on this side. So I might go back later on and put in maybe a screw or two in there just to make sure it's on there good, but this is a nice flat surface. It should stick on there pretty good. So. Just pressing it down, not overdoing it. Great. So we're gonna route the cables underneath the hood. They can fit right past the hinges. You find that sweet spot's just large enough. And we're gonna route this into the hood. All of these cables. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip tie them along the base of the hood and then continue to wire over to our controller. So 
So now we're just going to connect the positive and negative leads and we're going to tuck them out the way. Now I'm going to take these leads and connect them positive and negative to the battery terminals. So after you plug it in, you'll see that the yellow light is on and the green light is flashing and that the yellow light will stay on and the green light will be flashing whenever the sun is exposed to the solar panel, that means it's charging. And this controller does everything for you so it will turn off automatically, it won't let your battery overcharge or overheat and it has a few different modes which are all explained in the instructions as well. So uh, it's a really cool system. So we're out here guys and it's a really sunny day. I wanted to test out the solar panel and see the differences in watts that are coming in to the battery. So let's check it out. I got my multimeter here and let's see what readings we get. I'm going to test the battery first. So you can see the battery is at 12.5 volts. And then what I'm going to do is I've disconnected the solar panel from the module and I'm just going to test the actual power that's going from the sun directly into the solar panel. So you can see that we're at 20 and a half and this is pretty cool because the hood is up and it's actually facing the opposite direction if I lower the hood down you would get a stronger reading but I put the hood down and it's in direct sunlight now and I have these two cables resting on each terminal and you can see it's way above the 12.6 that it was originally at it's now 13.1 so this is getting a trickle charge to the battery so my battery is not going to die if I'm ever out and off-road and I have the Jeep off if you're doing any camping or if, you have, or if you're by the beach uh, you're never gonna have a dead battery if you do somehow uh, use the power faster than the solar panel can generate it and your battery does die if you leave everything off in 30 minutes in the Sun this is gonna charge your battery and you get out of a really sticky situation if you're out in the woods you, you can turn your Jeep back on and you can go back home so this is the absolute awesome overlanding accessory and uh, I highly recommend it. We've done a few tests and all of them have come back positive. So I hope you enjoyed that installation guys. The sun is in my eyes so I'm going to end the video here. I just want to let you guys know that all the links to the products as always are going to be put in the description so if you're interested you can go over there and check it out and a huge thanks to Cascadia 4x4 for making this video possible. Also, I just dropped some new merch. I got the Adventure Dex logo in all different colors, so I'll put a link to that in the description. If you want to go and support the channel, I truly appreciate it. If you want to join Team Adventure Dex for weekly Jeep videos, be sure to click that subscribe button. As always, I'm Adventure Dex. Don't forget, keep on Jeeping.